Hello and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to take a look at building this mongoose scooter. So as you can see, I've got one built here already. I've got a second one in the box. So let's go through how these go together. Okay, so I've got almost everything unpacked here. One thing I learned when I built the blue one is that sometimes the lug nuts can get caught in these little rubber protector things. So you might want to check these when you take them off the axles and make sure there's nothing left behind. So the tools I'm going to need for this are a 10 millimeter box end wrench, a 14 millimeter box end wrench, a pair of pliers, and a 6 millimeter Allen wrench. So as it was in the carton, the front fork is turned around backwards. So we're going to spin that around. And while I do, I'm going to remove this little protective cover. First step in the assembly process is to mount the handlebars onto the gooseneck. In order to do that, we're going to need to remove the four bolts that hold on this clamp. So next up, I'm going to bring the handlebars in and put them in the groove in the clamp here, just like this. I'm going to make sure that the brake handles are facing out towards the front of the scooter. Now that I have the clamp out of the way, I'm going to bring the handlebars up and put them into this groove that's in the back side of the clamp. We're just going to kind of get this centered and then we'll bring the front part of the clamp in and reinsert the bolts. So we've got the angle of the handlebars adjusted here for the person that's going to be riding this scooter most often and now I'm going to tighten up these bolts. I'm going to start in one corner and then work my way kind of corner to corner here and tighten everything evenly. The next step is to attach the front brake cable to the brake lever on the handlebar. Before I do that, I'm going to make sure that this cable is seated properly here. So in order to do that, I'm just going to squeeze the brake lever a little bit, get the cable seated up there, and then release it. Next up, I'll spin the handlebars around so you guys can see. Then I'm going to take the pliers and we're going to pull the cable up through the center of the handlebar stock. I'm going to pull it through most of the way, but I want to make sure there's a nice even arc down here and that this isn't pulled too tight and kinked. So then I'll bring the cable around the front of the handlebars and I'm going to pull the cable out of the sheath a little bit here to expose the end of the cable. Not sure if it's super visible in this camera angle, but what I'm going to do now is spin this nut and the cable stay here so that the grooves are aligned with the groove in the brake handle. So I've lost my helper for the moment, but I should be able to do this myself, although it is easier with two people. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna squeeze the brakes together with one hand so that there's some slack in the cable, and then I can pull the cable end out of the top here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the little cylinder that's at the end of the cable, and I'm going to place it inside the receptacle on the brake handle, and then we're just going to work the free end of the cable here up through the grooves in the bar and the cable end and then get the end of the cable seated in there and then let go of the brakes. So now I'll just spin the nut and the cable end so that the grooves no longer align. So at this point the cable is holding the brakes together a little bit on the tight side. You can see mine's even kind of pulling and the spring may want to tend to pop off of the brakes as well. So what I'm going to do now to kind of release some tension is loosen the nut on the end of the cable at the brake caliper. So now that I have some slack in the cable, I'm going to snug this nut back up and we'll adjust this later after I get the wheel on. So next up, I'm going to attach the rear brake cable to the detangler that's here on the gooseneck. I've got the cable routed in front of the handlebars and through the middle here. So let's take a closer look at what's going on in here. So we'll take a look at the first side here. I'm going to slide up the cable stay and put the end of the cable through the top hole. And then what I'll do is thread this into the hole here. Now hopefully you can see I've got a little bit of the cable stay through the threads and protruding through the bottom. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side here. So now I'll spin this plate around so it lines up to the cables and I may need to push up on it a little bit. And we'll get the end of the cable through so that it's on the bottom of the plate and that the cable is through the grooves on either side. So now we'll bring these nuts down on the top We'll snug them up by hand. There's a couple nuts on the cable on the bottom as well. And we'll spin those up. And now I'll use the 10 millimeter wrench to snug these all up. So I don't seem to have the same kind of problem with the rear caliper as I did with the front. So we don't need to adjust the tension on the cable. We'll leave it as it is for now. 
Next step is to attach the front wheel. So the wheels themselves are the same, but there's a little bit of different hardware on the axles. The front one is the one with these washers on it that have the little tabs on the ends. So what I'll do now is loosen up the nuts so that they're towards the end of the axles, but I'm not going to remove them all the way. As you can see here, I've got the end of the fork over the axle on both sides, and I've got the washer with the tab on it on the outside of the fork. So then I'm just going to orient this, and I'm going to insert that tab through the bottom hole in the bracket here, and then I'll tighten up the nut. We'll just snug that up by hand. I'll spin this around and do the same thing on the other side. So now we'll take a look here and make sure that everything is as centered as possible. So now that I've got those snugged up by hand, I'll use my 15 millimeter wrench and tighten these the rest of the way. So next up I'm going to put the rear wheel on. And the hardware on this one is similar but a little different. First thing I'm going to do is remove this plastic cap from this nut. And then just like on the front wheel, I'm going to spin the axle nuts all the way out to the end, but I'm not going to remove them. On the rear wheel you can see there's these shoulder washers on either side and those are going to engage in the grooves back here in the wheel stay. So I'm going to put the wheel on the rear of the scooter and I'm going to make sure that everything is centered here. Now these shoulder washers are going to engage the back wheel bracket here and go sort of inside the groove where the axle nut goes through. And just like before, we'll snug this up by hand first. And just like on the front, we'll take a look and make sure that everything is as centered as it can be. And once I've got it centered, I'll use the 15 millimeter wrench and tighten up the wheel nuts. So the next thing to do is to adjust the brakes. So you can see when I squeeze the handle, the brakes aren't engaging the rim. So I'm going to squeeze the calipers together so they're just touching the rim. And then I'm going to loosen up the brake cable nut so that there's plenty of slack there. I'll make sure that the cable is adjusted where it needs to be. Then I'm going to pull the cable through. And now one thing I've noticed with these is that these little crimp on cable ends aren't really crimped on all that well. And you can see I've pulled this one off. So don't pull it by the crimp on cable end. But you will need to pull the slack out of the cable and then tighten up the nut. I'll make sure that the caliper pads aren't rubbing on the rim. They don't seem to be. I'll squeeze the brake lever on the handlebar and make sure that it's engaging properly. Everything looks good. So now I'll repeat the process on the front. Now before I move on to the front, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little automotive electrical contact that I have and I'm going to crimp it on the end of the cable here so that the cable doesn't fray on me. So now we'll repeat the process on the front brake. Okay, so I think we're good to go. If you need to do any touch-up adjustments on the brakes, there are adjusters here on the brake levers and at various points along each cable. And you can use these to loosen or tighten the cables up without having to go down to the caliper and repeat the process that I just did. Now that I've got everything together, I'm going to make one more adjustment. The instruction manual kind of tells you to do this before you get the wheel on, but I feel it's a little easier to do it with the wheel on. But you can see we're looking straight down on the handlebars and they're not quite aligned to the front wheel. So let's get that adjusted. So all we have to do now is take the 14 millimeter wrench and loosen up this nut on the gooseneck. So once it's loose enough to turn by hand, what I should now be able to do is stand in front of the scooter and align the front wheel and the handlebars to the frame of the scooter to keep everything in line. Once I get it where I want it, I'll tighten the nut back up. Okay, that should do it. Okay, so the last thing to do is install these foot pegs on the rear axle. You can see there's a plate inside with threads and it's closer to one end of the peg, the end that has sort of the grooves on it as opposed to the knurls. So I'll just orient this so that this end with the grooves on it is closer to the wheel. And we'll just spin this on to the end of the rear axle. So I'll get that hand tight. So now I'll take my Allen wrench and I'll put it through this hole that's in the middle of the peg and I'll just tighten it up with that. That's pretty much going to wrap things up for assembly of these Mongoose scooters. If you want to learn more about these scooters, there's a link down in the description below that will take you to an Amazon product page. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. And if you'd like to support my channel in another way, please consider visiting my Amazon store, which you'll find linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.